One of the highlights for the World Snowbill Invasion is going to be this parade of sleds to break the world record for a continuous convoy of snowmobiles. They've been at it since early this morning. They've been here all day. We've watched the first vintage sleds arriving and they're here now and the crowd is just getting bigger. The sleds are lined up out to the road coming through the bush. It's absolute mayhem. Let's check in on the action. The rally is just about to start. Lots of snowbuilders coming in, and we've got the mayor to talk about what's going on and how important this is to the town. So, what's it, what's it like this event in your town? This is an event that we've been building up to for two years. It's a fantastic um, five-day uh, community event that we're so happy to share with Alberta, with Canada, and with the world. Uh, the number of sledders that have come in, it's absolutely incredible to see the outer province plates that are in our community and the number of sleds rolling in behind us is overwhelming love it the response is incredible everybody's here from everywhere it's just incredible isn't it absolutely and everybody's got a smile on their face they're so happy to be participating we are looking forward to breaking the guinness world book of records tonight and very very proud of that this means a lot to your town it does. From an economic uh, perspective, over the next five days, they anticipate close to 10,000 people coming through our community. So for all of our uh, businesses, our retailers, hotels, restaurants, this is fantastic. There are literally hundreds of sleds and hundreds of sledders here tonight, and we actually ran into Levi La Valley. Levi, your thoughts on tonight? Oh, this is amazing. You know, just to see this many snowmobiles all in one place going for a record, it's pretty phenomenal, you know, and I'm just excited to be a part of it. There's a, there's a lot of sleds here, a lot of old vintage and some 90s stuff in that. Your thoughts on when you walk around the aisles here? It's awesome. You know, I, I grew up riding in the 90s, so anything from 90 on was all my style. So, so going through and seeing all the old indies and things like that is awesome to see. And then there's so many sleds that are even, even older than that. So it's really neat to see the, old, the older sleds coming out all the way up to the brand new stuff. So it's a, a pretty cool event to be at. Now, I did see uh, an old Polaris, I believe it was a 1973 TX340. Any chance you'll be taking that one off the ramp this weekend? <laughs> I, I don't know if they would want me to take it off the ramp. They probably want to hang on to that one. But, you know, it's uh, we're going to be jumping our, our new race sleds and whatnot. And they handle the jump a little bit better than the older one. But I'm sure that Polaris, it would probably make it if I tried. <laughs> It's absolutely incredible. While hundreds of sledders have come in, there's still hundreds of sledders on their way out. back inside the new record has been set how's it feel it feels great Phil pretty uh, pretty exciting to be part of it and uh, it's uh, exciting to be part of the Alberta Snowbill Association and have uh, members from not only our club but other uh, clubs in our area to come out and uh, clubs across the province actually with people from Japan here for crying out loud helping us set this record uh, Michigan Minnesota Idaho Montana uh, people I talked to out there from British Columbia, all over the place. So, pretty exciting. Not only white curve people, people obviously, but uh, it just feels great to uh, to uh, sort of get this uh, sport kickstarted again. In a sense, it's uh, it's been a few years. We had some bad snow for years, and and now here we go. And uh, we have a lot of snow in, in different parts of the North America for the past year or two. And uh, and here we go. The excitement's back. A great night all around. Great night all around. We're just getting started. It may look like I'm in the backwoods of Sweden, but I'm actually still here in Alberta. The world snowbill invasion continues with snowbillers traveling many countries without actually going that far from Whiteport, Alberta. What we wanted to do is pick some countries and we, you know, we kind of randomly picked six that we thought were some of the top snowbill countries in the world. We do have uh, four countries that belong to the International Snowbill Confederation. And so we chose those com countries as well as uh, Japan. And, and the reason why we chose Japan is because we are a sister city. Whitecourt, Alberta is sister city to Yubetsu in, in uh, Japan. So that was how the concept of Japan came along. We've got great representation here. We've got uh, people from all over the world. Of course, this is the World Snowmobile Invasion. 
So uh, each uh, snowmobiling nation is represented, and of course Japan is a, is a snowmobiling nation, and northern Japan, uh, the Hokkaido region, uh, we've got two uh, guests that have come from, uh, from Japan who are enthusiasts. They've come a husband and wife here, and we've supplied them a machine to ride for the course of the weekend. Uh, worked with the embassy to get them here, and uh, we've also got some of our corporate officials, executives that have come from Yamaha, Japan as well. So uh, we're, we've got a fairly large contingent here, and it's a great opportunity and way for us to all experience uh, snowmobiling in general. This is the world invasion here in White Court, Alberta, because the world is here. We've got a couple that have traveled all the way from Japan, and through a translator, we're going to find out their thoughts on snowmobiling here and also back home. So the first question would be, what is snowmobiling like to somebody in Japan? Okay, they come from the Hokkaido island of Japan. And uh, the, actually the snow condition is very similar. So the people ride on the bush, on the off-road, and sometimes in the mountain. And what do they think of snow building here in White Court, Alberta, and this event? Actually, this is the first time for him to see the, this, much, uh, this much snowmobile in one place. It's great, he said. So he appreciates to invite to this event. When we return, the world snowmobile invasion kicks into high gear with the Octane Addiction Freestyle Show.